Hello, I am Chris Menard. Microsoft Excel on August 18th, 2025, rolled out the Copilot function to Excel users that have an M365 Copilot license. Right now, this is only available for certain beta users, so it's not out for everyone, but this is a phenomenal function. Let's dive into it right now. I'm on the employer's worksheet. I'm in cell B1. I'm going to use the copilot function. And the copilot function has multiple arguments, but if you notice, only the first argument, prompt part one, is required. We will use multiple arguments, though. Let's just stay easy and do this one inside of quotes. I put list of five largest employers in the U.S. Send that off. Copilot comes back with those five companies. Bonus tip here for you. Some of these uh, Copilot functions you can wrap inside of other functions. I'm going to add sort to this. So there it is wrapped inside of the sort function also right there. Continuing on, I've got the list of the companies. Well, now I want to know possibly their city. So instead of having to watch me type these, I created a prompts worksheet. I just did row two. I was on the employer sheet and that's what I did. I'm now going to copy what I have here in cell B3, go to employers. My prompt sheet said to go to cell C1 and paste this. So what I'm asking is list the city for these companies, comma, B1. Let me get rid of that apostrophe. There you go. Quick note about this. When I was typing this out, after I did the comma, I'm on argument number two right here. I highlighted these five companies, but notice it did B1 hashtag. Great feature right there. So it automatically fills it down. I go back to cell B1. I'm looking at five, but I say, you know what? I want to know the 20 largest column B fills in with the 20 largest and then give it a second. And then column C comes back with the cities for all 20. That's why that hashtag is great up there. Continuing on, I am over on the employers to worksheet. I put the word state in cell B1. I typed in Florida in cell C1 in cell B3. I'm going to tell Excel to copilot function, list the 12 employers in, and then I reference cell C1, which is the state of Florida. And there I go right there. Now, if I come up to C1 and let me go to Georgia, I'm going to take a guess. We're going to probably see Emory University, Home Depot, because this is my state. Emory and Delta Airlines for sure. Coca-Cola, that is looking correct. And again, always go check your data. Continuing on with this one, I'm going to go to cell C3, put in my prompt. I'll show you the prompt in just one second. Here you go. Equal Copilot, list the cities for these companies and the number of employees. And again, I reference cell B3 to cell B14 with the mouse, but it put in B3 hashtag. And there we go. All of them happen to be Atlanta. Let's swap back over to Florida for just a second. Looking good. Let's pick South Carolina. I'm going to stop on South Carolina. I'm not going to sit here and keep running these. You could come in here and highlight these numbers and do some formatting if you wanted to. Perfect. The next exercise is airport codes. Microsoft actually did one on their blog post, which I will put a link to. I've got USA typed in cell D1. I got country in cell C1. And we're going to tell Copilot to show the major airport codes for the country listed in D1. And then again, I had a reference D1 after that comma. So there's argument number two. So that is correct for USA. Let's do England. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if that is even correct, but let me go and add some prompts to this here. Over in cell D3, I told Copilot to list the state or the region, comma, C3. And here we go. England's always going to be England. Let me go back to USA. Perfect. Right there. Hartsville-Jackson is in Georgia right there. 
All right, time to get extremely fancy on this next one. I am on a worksheet called training. Take a look at column C. People filled out comments from a previous training class, and we told them, hey, if there's any other type of training you want, please put it in the comments. And if you notice, we've got a variety of stuff. Someone eating pivot tables. Someone wants to know if you can sort by color. We got stuff about Microsoft Word. We got stuff about PowerPoint and even Outlook. So in this example, I'm going to go to cell E1. And my prompt or my copilot was equal copilot. Argument one lists the course for each comment. And then I had a reference C3 to C11. That's where the comments are listed. And then I added a third argument based on the courses listed in A3 to A6. Let's see if this is correct. So pivot tables would be Excel, headers is Word, inbox would be Outlook, presentations is PowerPoint. I'm not going to sit here and read all these, but everything looks correct to me. Another great feature right here in Copilot with that prompt. Last one I have for you for today. So I've got a list of names and addresses in column A and B. And what is it I'm trying to pull out of there? The first name, the last name, and the city. If you look at column A and B, those names have no consistency as how they were put in. They weren't put in first name in one column, last name in another column, or else I probably wouldn't need to do this. This data just came to me this way. Let's see if Copilot can handle this. Equal copilot, argument number one is to extract the following fields. And then I did a comma. So argument two is D1 to F1, which is first name, last name, and city. From this data is argument three. And then argument four is where is that data? And it's A2 to B13. Take a look at this. It is looking extremely correct. But again, always go and check this stuff. London, London, Springfield. Yeah, always go and check your data, but this is looking pretty good right here. I'm really excited about this feature. It should be rolling out to everyone that's got a Copilot M365 license soon. I will put Microsoft's blog post in the description for you. I will also put some other information in there about uh, things to watch for. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, please. If you have any comments, put them in the comments box and my online courses are available. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.